if you find the need to export from Revit back to AutoCAD, then you will want to know how to modify the layer mapping. And that is found in the application menu underneath export, down at the very bottom, options, export layers, DWG, DXF. Now, what I recommend doing is actually just going ahead and loading the standard export layers DWG AIA file, especially if you don't particularly have a need to map back to your standard file that you, or your standard setups that you have in AutoCAD. This will save you a lot of time and you know, you want to ask yourself, is it something I'm going to be giving to a consultant? Do they really need to have it mapped to my previous layer standards? Or can I just send them the file with this standard AIA setup?